Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. So after completing the anatomy of spine, we come to the anatomy of thorax. Today, we will discuss about the anatomy of typical rib. So let's get started. Firstly, let's discuss some descriptive features about the ribs. There are 12 ribs on each side. That means 24 ribs. The ribs are bony arcs arranged one below the other. The space between the ribs is called as intercostal space. The first seven ribs are called true ribs and are connected to the sternum by cartilage. The remaining five ribs are called as false ribs because they are not directly attached to the sternum. Anterior ends of 11th and 12th ribs are free and they are called as floating ribs. Okay, so typical rib has anterior end, posterior end, shaft and outer and inner surfaces. Let's take each of these parts and discuss them separately. First, we take the anterior end. The anterior end is oval and concave for articulation with its cartilage. On number 2, we have the posterior end and it can be divided into three parts that are head, neck and tubercle. Let's take these parts and discuss them. First is the head. The head has an articular facet which is separated by a crest. The crest has smaller upper facet and a larger lower facet. The upper facet articulates with the higher thoracic vertebra and the lower larger facet attaches with the corresponding thoracic vertebra. Let's see the crest and how the ribs are attached to the vertebra. So this is the crest. And this is the upper facet attached to the higher vertebra as you can see. This is the lower facet which is attached to the corresponding vertebra. Next, we take the neck of the rib. The neck lies between the head and the shaft. Time to see the neck on the figure. So this is the rib and this encircled region is the neck which is present between the head and the shaft. The third subpart was the tubercle and the tubercle is placed on the outer surface of the rib. The medial part of the tubercle is articular and forms the costotransverse joint with the articular facet on the transverse process of thoracic vertebra as we have watched in the previous videos. To watch more about the thoracic vertebra, the link of the video is given in the description. So now let's have a look at the tubercle. This is the rib and this area which you can see is the tubercle. We also have the articular part and it is present here. Third, we had the shaft. The shaft is flattened so that it has outer and inner surface and upper and lower border. The lower border of the shaft is thin and the upper border of the shaft is rounded. The shaft is curved. The convexity is outward. The shaft is bent at the angle and the angle is situated 5 cm later to the tubercle. The angle has an oblique line on the outer surface that is directed downwards and laterally. And lastly, there is a costal groove that lies along the inferior border of the inner surface of the shaft. I repeat, the costal groove lies along the inferior border of the inner surface of the shaft. Let's sum up all these points and have a look at all the parts present in a typical rib. So this is the costal groove present on the inferior border of the inner surface of the shaft as you can see. This is the shaft with its convexity outward. This is the inner surface of the shaft. This is the angle situated 5 cm later to the tubercle. This is the tubercle which have the articular and the non-articular part. The area in the square region is the neck which is present between the head and the shaft. And this is the crest. This encircled region has the superior and inferior facets for attachment with the vertebras. Okay, this was all about the parts of a typical rib. But let's also discuss the side determination of the rib. Firstly, the anterior end bears a concave depression. The posterior end bears the head neck and the tubercle. The shaft is curved with its convexity outward. 
and the costal groove lies along the inferior border of the inner surface of the shaft. All these points have to be kept in mind while determining the side of the rib. So that is it for today guys. I hope you understood today's topic. Thanks for watching guys. Have a nice day.